Hi, this is Kathy. Today I'm going to show you how to track cattle ranching with Microsoft Excel. Tracking cattle ranching with Microsoft Excel is useful because it will help keep your inventory and your invoicing all in one place. And here's how to do it. I opened just a blank document, a blank workbook in Microsoft Excel and I began one that has a table. So I just simply typed in category, classification, and the months of the year in the top row of my worksheet. And I bolded them. And then I listed what my inventory was. And so here we have six, um, six types of cattle that we have as inventory. I'm gonna add a seventh just to show you. So I'm gonna type in number seven. Breeding cows. Um, the classification is cow. And as of January, I had one breeding cow. February, I have two. March, I had three. April, I had four. Um, and so I'm just going to insert my inventory of all of this cattle in here. Just like that. And I'll just insert how many I have in inventory. This is all going to depend on what you have. You can just type in the numbers as you see them. And then I'm missing a month here, so September, October. I'll go ahead and bold that. And then at the bottom, I want to total all of the inventory I have for the year. And so I'm going to highlight the last row of the worksheet. And I'm going to go up to borders. If you go up to your ribbon tab near your fonts, you'll find this little box and you want to click on the double bottom double border, which is right here. And that's a good indication of a, of a total range. So you can just type in total underneath the classification. And then a great way to total your inventory for one month is to highlight. So for January, we're going to highlight starting with the first number. And you're going to click on it and keep your mouse clicked down and hold all the way down until you get to the bottom. Unclick, go to the top of the ribbon, and you'll find an auto sum function that looks just like this. You want to click on that. And as you can see, that inserted the auto sum, it just completely added the entire column. And we're going to do this for each column so that you'll have a total for all. The great thing about the auto sum column is that if you need to go back into January and find out that you had one replacement heifer instead of two, you can simply just type over that and click one hit enter, and as you can see, your auto sum will automatically adjust for that month. So now I'm going to go ahead and auto sum all of my months. I'm going to highlight, click auto sum, highlight, click auto sum, highlight, auto sum, and so on. And there I have the total. Now at the end, October, November, and December, once I've auto summed all of my inventory for each month, what I can do is highlight the total for the year of all inventory of all types of animals, highlight all the total numbers land on an empty cell where I'd like the sum and click auto sum and that will be the total for the year and then what you can do is you can highlight this column and you can simply shade it if you go up to the bucket you can choose a color and shade it and you can bold your total for the year now once you have your 
category and your, in, uh, and your inventory correct and your totals, you can then begin the invoicing process by going to Microsoft Word. I'll open up Microsoft Word and I'll look in templates. If you get this screen, you can type in invoice or you can go to click new and then type invoice. And I'm going to pull up the first invoice template that I have. And this gives me um, an opportunity to really just manipulate the document as it fits my business. So I could put my logo here if you'd like. You simply click on it and insert. You can type over the date and you can click on the invoice number. I'll name this invoice number one. And I will go back to my Excel spreadsheet and I'll see that I have a breeding cow. In January I had six and I'd like to sell one. So I've put one in the quantity. The description is a breeding cow. The unit price for the cow is $1,000 and the total is 1000 So there I've invoiced for the cow. I'm going to go back to my inventory and I'm going to put five in January because I've sold one. It will automatically adjust to a total of 48 animals for the month of January. And January is the month that I'm invoicing for, so I'm going to put that note in there. And that's how you track cattle ranching in Microsoft Excel and invoicing in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. My name is Kathy.